The Power Prism of Pandora Paragon, Part 1. Our story begins in a chamber hidden deep within a cave. The only object within the cave is a capsule of some sort in which is interred Pandora Paragon. Attached to it is a monitor of some sort, a control panel for the module. Into the cave enters Noni, a beleaguered individual with layers of shabby coat coverings. Noni is out of breath and panting. Once inside the cave, she checks herself to make sure she is still in one piece. She then struggles to get her breathing under control and begins to look around the room in which she finds herself. That was a close one. Outside, there is a blaster fire. Noni flinches. Then, suddenly, with a loud thud, doors to the cave close automatically. Sort of security measure. What have you gotten yourself into now? Noni takes another look around. She notices the capsule within which Pandora lies sleeping. This is not a cave you want to be in, buddy. Quite right. Leave the sleeping lady alone. Find yourself another cave to sleep in, why don't you? There's a loud bang on the, on the door. Or stay here and do it quietly. Then another loud bang. And with that, the, the, the disturbance triggers an activation sequence, which begins to awaken the sleeping Pandora. Noni freezes mid-motion in an attempt to hide in plain sight. Pandora bolts upright, sitting in her capsule, and yells, You're under attack! After the initial shock of waking, Pandora looks around to see Noni frozen in an awkward position and unable to hold it very steady. I did not mean to disturb you. Do you know who is attempting to breach the security of... Where are we? A band of Marauding and Chimera, and we are in a cave. With that, Noni drips the fr drops the frozen position and takes a hard look at Pandora. Do you not know where you are? You were sleeping here. This is not my lab where I went to sleep. There is another loud thing. Are they doing, are they going to be able to bust down that door? You know more of this place than I do. Pandora arises from her capsule and checks the display screen on the monitor attached to it. This can't be right. All the metadata for my capsule has been scrubbed. I don't have an accurate read on the date. I don't have an idea how long I've been asleep. The location and information linking to the lab are gone. What is going on? Pandora reveals on Noni. Who are you? Who? Me? I see no others here. What is your name? People call me Noni. What an odd name. Is it? Well, Noni, why did no one awaken me? How has it grown so late while I have slept? No one knows you are here. Why do you say everything like it's a question? The barrage of blaster fire pelts the door. I don't think this door, that door is going to hold. What was it you said was on the other side of that door? The fog of, of sleep was still upon me, but I thought you said marauding chimera. Oh, that is what I said. But the chimera are brutish animals. Who form raiding parties and terrorize the land. How long have I slumbered? How am I supposed to know? You said your thing was busted. It was scrubbed. It works just fine, but all the information is missing. What year is it? The year is 4,975 NE. NE? What is that supposed to mean? NE, New Era. It came after CE, the common area. Uh, any of this ringing a bell? No. Before my slumber, we counted the years from creation onward. And when was that? I put myself into a deep slumber 3,532 years after the creation of the world. Uh, I don't know what that means, but I think you've been asleep for thousands of years. How is that possible? I was only supposed to sleep for an age to rest from my great toil, to return refreshed and again take up the work which I had done. Who are you? My name is Pandora. Like Pandora's box, as in all the evils of the universe unleashed upon the world? That's Pandora? It's not so much a box as a prism, really. Uh, Pandora nearly destroyed this planet, and for 10,000 years, humanity has been plunged into despair. 
Another thud, loud thud rocks the door. We do not have time for your foolishness. It's not foolishness, it's history. What is this history which you so clearly think that you know? Everyone knows that Pandora came to live among humanity and was welcomed with open arms. But while the humans took her in and offered her a home, Pandora was secretly sent as an agent of the gods, who, being jealous of humanity's love, had sent Pandora to destroy them. An agent of the gods? What rubbish! You want to hear this story or not? I can stop right here. No, continue, but tell your story with haste. Then don't interrupt. Pandora pretended to live in harmony with humanity, but once she had worked her way into their lives, she revealed her darker purpose. For the gods had given Pandora a box. They had told her, not told her what was inside, only in that moment of absolute peace, she should open it. And so Pandora waited until a festival of light. And when all of the humans of that time had gathered for the festival, Pandora stood among them with the box. She opened the box in the midst of the people and unleashed unspeakable horrors. Doubt, fear, anger, and the like. They each transformed into a creature of flesh and blood and began to multiply into an army of all things dark and vile. Uh, uh, and after these horrors had been unleashed from the box, there was a change, and the box began to suck all that was good into it. And the people who had been there to celebrate peace turned to despair as all hope of humanity was sucked down into that box, which Pandora shut and hid, and the hope of humanity was never seen again. Since that time, monsters have overrun the earth and plunged humanity into darkness. Well, that was certainly imaginative. It is the story told to all children. Everyone knows of the great treachery of Pandora. Then I must be a monster. How can you possibly stand to speak with me or stay in the same room with me? I'm not sure that you are Prince of Pandora. <laughs> there is, again, a thud at the door. And you are a whole lot less scary right now than the things outside. I tell you, I am Pandora, the one and only, and if I have done all that you say, I am surely much more terrifying than the marauders outside. For if what you say is true, I am the creator and the very reason they exist. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what... More blaster fire pelts the door louder and longer than before. This door will not hold. Do not be afraid, young one. I am not the evil monster of your childhood stories. Ew. We have no time for me to explain. Pandora runs back to the control panel of her capsule. What are you doing? I'm going to see if my module is still functioning. And? Pandora taps on the monitor. It appears it is. Wiped clean, but still functioning. What good will the bed do us? It will do this. Pandora presses something on the screen, and the door begins to open. What? It's all right. Don't let them in! It will just be a moment longer. There is blaster fire through the door. They're ruthless! They'll kill us! They'll kill me! Then, in through the door comes strutting a large chimera, part eagle, part leopard, that goes by the name of Bigsy. Bigsy is flanked on either side by two henchmen. Bigsy only takes a step or two inside before he strikes a pose. Well, how's it going, Noni? Aren't you happy to see me? To be continued. 